is now heading over to yellow. Yep, picking up that yellow. Ray picks up the. the uh, he, well, he got the red too, so he's sitting at a high armor count right now, whereas Ray is hurting. They're down to 15 armor. And uh, Rolo trying to dodge rockets as he picks up the mega. He definitely has the better stack here, um, but he's not going after his prey. That's an interesting choice. Ooh, we're hitting rails back and forth, and Ray is hurting. Down to only 40 HP, 5 armor. Yeah, Raul definitely uh, doing just fine. He didn't really lose much there. And gets first blood with the DBS. Flag. Yeah, mm, very finally nice. gets on the board. It uh, took almost uh, two and a half minutes there for a frag to happen. Yeah, the stream is definitely a bit choppy tonight, guys. I'll see if I can do something about it in just a few minutes. And there oh, is a rocket kill there. Yep. Uh, he sends his lead to two, but uh, that's hardly anyone's game here. Impressive. Nice oh, tag nice in the ass. Rail. And here, uh, Rose going to wait out the mega. There it is, he picks it up and tries to, yeah, he's gonna be able to cut off Ray from getting that red. He's like, no, no, no. That's my armor, motherfucker. Oh, and the Go mega saved his own. ass there. <laughs> Sitting at 100 HP and 100 armor. That wasn't he's really a very good. Yeah, he, he steals yellow. He has full control. Nice work here. I'm gonna switch over to Ray's point of view because he has his work cut out for him. He uh, will be searching for health and armor. And, uh,. He's making a choice to be quiet here and just gonna wait for the respawn. And he times it well. And uh, takes the advantage. He's doing this is doing a very smart thing, very smart. Where he is uh, trying to stay away. He, he peeks out a little bit too long. Trying to stay away from Raul um, and just collect uh, collect power ups. He's trying to get the advantage again. A little early. Sorry, Definitely see him on connecting rocket. on some rails there. He connected on a couple more rails than Rule did, so he's able to get a nice advantage here. Yeah. Rule's and, hurting and down the to 40 there. HP armor. Yeah, yeah he's he definitely there. very cautious. Yeah, he didn't go barrel assing into uh, Raul's uh, weapons there. He just sat there and waited till he could grab weapons. And uh, That was a nice, armor. aggressive little move there, and here we go. Dueled by the shoddy spawn. Not yeah. nearly as much damage being exchanged as you thought. They were nice and close to each other, a lot of direct shots, but both of them are still very well stacked. And he's just waiting on Rule to uh, try to get the yellow uh, and pays for it. Coming up that jump pad. Looks like Raul had kind of confused him about his location. And this time Raul turns it around and is able to pick up the red. Ray uh, runs back and grabs the yellow. So, roughly even stack here. Slight uh, advantage to Raul. I noticed that uh, Ray isn't really... Uh, it doesn't seem like he likes to lead off with a rail. He seems to, uh, to like to start off battles with a rocket there. Well, long range battles, you'll definitely see him go for the rail, but even in the like mid to long range battles, he likes those rockets. Yeah, he eats a the rail there and tries to back off. I'm amazed just how close of them have been in terms of HP and armor. I mean, they've been very similar. And Ray gets the red almost unopposed there, dodges whatever rockets went his way, just barely escapes a rocket, smashing him into the face. He's trying to wait out that mega. Shakes off uh, maybe a little mouse resistance there. Trying to keep the wrists loose, I guess. And he can hear his opponent. He's going to grab the red. And Raul tags him a little bit with a little bit of splash, but not much. Oh, they trade rails, and Raul is hurting. 
Down to only 47 armor and 70 HP. Ray is going blood. in. He is feeling this kill. He wants the mega first. Gets the mega and he's feeling good right now. But he still has yet to score oh. a frag here. He, he, he I don't know if you saw that, but that prediction rocket went right past Rawl's head. That was damn close. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ray had already turned away. Nice shot there by Rule. All right, Rule. Gets another. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, he's doing all these peak rails so here. And, Time uh, is starting to become an issue. 245. Yeah. He's trying to keep Raul away from the Mega. He'll uh, give up Mega for the red. And RJ's back up. He's going to head over and try to deny yellow. So that he'll know. Ooh, nice tag by Raul. Um, he, he knows that uh, Raul only has health at this point. That being said, Ray's a little bit low on uh, health himself. Take up a 25 will top him off. But he does have to score at least three frags here. And there he is. He's leading again with a rocket, whereas a rail might have been a better choice. It was a good prediction rocket, though, but yeah, he kind of missed his rail, I think. Alright, here we're going to draw some blood. And uh, Ray... Really in trouble. Raul extends the lead to four, and with time running out, uh, that's going to be very tough. I'm going to switch back to Raul's point of view here. Every now and then we like to see the point of view of the underdog, see what they do to try to retake control. I think uh, Ray did a good job taking control of the items, but he just never um, forced his way into a, a, a good uh, situation where he could capitalize. Although, uh, oh, good prediction. Mm -hmm. Walking into rockets, not going to help him. Ooh, Raul missing a key rail there. To, uh... I'm not quite sure what Ray's doing here. One minute warning. I mean, that was, that was aggressive, but uh, Raul still had enough in order to deal with Ray. Five frag game, one minute to go. Raul's, um, I think, just going to run at this point. All he needs to do is avoid a series of spawn frags, and he has this thing won. Yeah. At this point, it's a good game. It's There's no real way to come back. There's simply not enough time. And Ray gets on the board in the last 30 seconds of the match. Ray is uh, starting to get his rail on while uh, Raul's is not. There's an LG. Three frags between them. 20 seconds. Swapped over to Ray's point of view. Waning seconds of the match. Yeah, Ray didn't go down without a fight. Yeah. Never give up. Very nice. Uh, brings it into a three-point game. GG's right there. Oh god. Oh god, no. May <laughs> the best LG win. Ooh. Yeah. This map is. Um, it, this I don't map know. is random. Some, That's... Yeah, so, some people like it. I'm not a huge fan. It's a little too claustrophobic for my. Yeah, I have not played this map too much. Some people, it's kind of like a love-hate map. There's really no sort of, in my opinion, in between. A lot of people have strong opinions on this map. And Raul is saying that, uh, hey dude, let me run around a little bit on this map for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder no, if this, this is a, a map like assigned here, but... by the... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. I guess guy. it's a tiebreaker map. I'm pretty sure it was like assigned, like a randomly selected dual map. Yeah, but that doesn't change the pain. <laughs> Why? Actually, um, you know, this map does bring out one thing that I do love, which is 
LG battles. I, those 